Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Mobile Gadgeteer and Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. A couple of months ago I purchased and did a review on the Redfly Mobile Companion. And uh, within the last month, month and a half, they've dropped the price from, uh, I believe it was actually $4.99 in the beginning and then now it is actually $1.99. And I think I now know a reason why. They're actually updating the Redfly C8 with the C8N and the C7. So I was uh, lucky enough to be sent the new C8N, and uh, the box in the background is the is the original box, which the new box will actually be black, and the color of the device will be black. So here is the original device that I have, which is a, a soft touch rubber, and you can check out my uh, my earlier review for all the details and now the new one C8N is uh, is going to be black this one happens to be red this is a beta device please understand they will not be red they will actually be black it doesn't have the soft touch but it still has a nice uh, it's not a glossy finish it's a nice finish on there the other ones the black ones I haven't seen it yet it may be a black glossy I haven't seen the final cover so I can't judge that but it is the C8N so it's exact same size as the uh, the original Red Fly, and then when you open it up, the keyboards have a couple of minor uh, differences, and a couple things I'll point out in in photos might be easier, but in video I'll just show you. Uh, they took the feedback that people provided and they made some nice changes. W one of them is the left and right. Uh, soft keys are actually right under the hinges, which is where they kind of appear on the screen, which makes more sense before they were towards the middle. You also will see the send and end keys are out towards the sides, kind of matching what you'll see on the smartphone. Another nice update. You'll Another nice update to the keyboard is uh, over here. You see the red fly button. That used to be the OK button. They've now swapped it and put the OK button over here next to the directional arrows and it makes more sense having it over on this side. Other than that, the keyboard is pretty much I think exactly the same with the uh, directional pad and the two left and right mouse buttons as before. So it's uh, still a very functional keyboard almost, you know, for using with a smartphone it's very good size. Not as big as something like a, a netbook or a laptop but it's a nice size keyboard. So that's the keyboard improvements in the C8N, but the major thing for the N is NTCS. So they'd have video support. If we take a look on the back of both the C8 and the C8N, they're the same with the two USB plugs and the hinges and the power adapter until you come over to the right side and you'll see a difference here. And there's the new C8N on top and the C8 on the bottom. That little plug right there I'll just grab the C8N and give you a little closer look at it. That little plug right there is a media port. So you can buy the device, uh, I believe, let me just look at my notes here. The retail price on the new C8N will be $299. Okay, so it's $100 more than the discounted price, but a couple hundred less than uh, what the original one sold for. So $299 and uh, for an extra 20 or extra 20 bucks, $19.95, you can purchase the media cable. Because a lot of people won't want the media cable, they just still want the device as it is. But for those of us who want video, and uh, I'll show you some very cool features with the video, you can buy this video cable for $19.95. And if you're gonna buy the C8N and you're uh, a consumer, I highly recommend it. So as you can see on one end, is the uh, plug that goes into the Redfly. On the other end, it gives you an additional USB and also a uh, composite uh, video port. So this will not do, there's no speakers on board, it's not going to do audio, it's just video. And uh, the USB can be used for uh, the video in as well, depending on what kind of device you're plugging into it. So now we'll start taking a look at what this video does on the device. Okay, so I now have my Palm Trio Pro, and uh, let's just go to something like the programs or something to kind of give you a look. Okay, so there's the Palm Trio Pro, and it's on the new C8N. Now, what I've also done is I've connected a TV out cable to my iPhone, as you can see here. Okay, I've got it connected to my iPhone, 
to the back of the uh, cable and the TV out cable that you can buy for your iPhone or iPod Touch or whatever device you want. Now I'm going to hit, hit uh, play on the movie. You won't hear any sound. Sound doesn't come through this cable, so you still need your headphones um, to connect and listen to sound. Now, let's see here. I'm going to uh, switch to the uh, the video source here. If I scroll over here, you see the video. I've already started it. Now, what you'll see is you can actually watch video picture in picture on the C8N. So I could throw the video down over here, and I could do my work over on this side. You know, you can move this all over the screen. Right, or you can click this button and maximize the video, and there we go. So when you're on an airplane and you have your smartphone with you or your iPod and you want to watch it on a much larger screen, as you can see, it plays quite well. It's fast. Um, you do still need to have uh, a headset. I'll show you in a minute uh, how that can be an issue on one of the devices, uh, the Nokia that I'm going to show off. But this works great with the if you have an iPod or iPhone Touch and that iPod uh, cable that works with it. And then you simply over here in the top right, you can minimize that display, move it around, and continue working on your smartphone and watch the video on the side. You could also minimize that, and it goes down to the bottom. And there we go. So that's video with the iPhone. Now let's look at some other video options. Okay, I now have the Nokia N96 plugged in to video. The thing is, the Nokia plug is a plug that comes out of your uh, headset jack, and then it plugs into a multimedia port with a composite multimedia port for uh, with red, red, white, and yellow cables. So the yellow plugs into the red fly. However, I now have no volume and there's no way to control the volume or get the volume out since it's a composite cable. So I don't think with the Nokia device uh, you'd be able to, as you can see the video looks fine, but I don't know if you're going to be able to listen to any of the audio on the, the uh, on the player just because of the way that it does video out. Uh, you also should work with the zoom. Uh, the zoom that I have uh, does not, this is Zoom 4 gigabyte. the new one does not have video out capabilities and let me just look at one more device with video out that uh, we'll try playing. Okay, this next device I have hooked up is actually the HTC Advantage and uh, as you can see on the screen there's a little TV out and what's interesting is uh, the TV out on the Advantage is like the Nokia as well. It models everything that you see and do on the device is, is shown on the display or in this case the red fly. So as you can see, all my applications appear on the red fly as kind of a window in window deal. Um, I don't have any video, I just have one quick one that I took. As you can see, I could play it. And I could do a, I could do a full screen of that. As well. And as you can hear, the uh, audio would play on the speakers of the Advantage there. So that's another example of TV out functionality showing on uh, on the red fly in this particular case with the advantage and uh, let me just see if I have uh, anything else to plug in and try out. Now I connected my new HTC fuse to the device um, I don't have the accessory cable so I tried connecting via the USB built into it and then the USB that's built into the um, media port as well and as you can see if I Quick uh, play. Both of them say they cannot play the file. So there is still no video support for the Windows Mobile side of the house, and I, I believe they're probably working on that driver because I'm sure that's requested. So this media port here does require that whatever device you have to connect it to has TV out functionality. Uh, other devices uh, don't seem to work with it unless you have the TV out functionality. So it looks like I'll have to get that extra twenty something dollar. HTC TV out cable. That way I could use this to connect and play my VD media from my fuse as well as use it to be productive with the fuse as you can see here and uh, and do work on it and then switch over uh, with the cable and do media as well. So that's a look at the uh, Redfly C8N that is uh, going to be available for $299 retail price. 
and it allows you to play media files as well as work as a, a terminal. Now one thing they're going to start focusing on is it was called before the Redfly Mobile Companion. Now be focused on the name of branding it as the Redfly Smartphone Terminal because it really is a terminal with a keyboard and a display for your smartphone. So that's a first look at the Redfly C8N Smartphone Terminal. Make a picture